I thank you very much, as usual. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and also share so that we can keep sharing this knowledge. Uh, today, I want us to look at the boss theory of the IDN and we are basically going to look at how we can derive the energy on an electron according to the Bohr's postulates. Um, someone will be asking us what is a Bohr atom? For a Bohr atom is the one with, which is having a nucleus which is centrally placed and is positively charged, and around it there is a nucleus. So, first of all, I am going to get the kinetic energy of 
this electron. So, kinetic energy on an electron, I get it by multiplying both sides of the equation 1 by half. Multiply. But 
how can I express this far in terms of the part constant, the quantum number, the mass of an electron by eliminating this R. We want to eliminate this R from this expression and we see how what kind of expression of energy we shall get. I say it from from equation one, from this equation one here, I have that mv squared is equal to e squared out of 4 pi epsilon not i. I am going to take one of the Bohr's postulates that the angular momentum of an electron is actually equal to a multiple of h out of 2 phi. Angular momentum from Bohr postulate or assumption is saying that angular momentum angular momentum is MBR. MB is momentum then angular momentum will be times R distance between the nucleus and the electron is equal to a multiple of h out of which becomes now h out of 2 phi h out of 2 phi then to be n this is the quantum number which becomes an integer for that case so in this case we are going to make v the subject and replace it here so making v therefore we shall have that V alone from this expression becomes, we have this, and that V alone becomes M H out of 2 phi M R. That is for V from this expression. So I'm going to replace for V back into equation 1. So I replace for V back there. On replacing, we will have that uh, therefore lab M open the bracket V is NH out of 2 phi MR squared. V is squared is equal to E squared out of 4 phi epsilon R. That's what we have. So our have this becomes M n square, n square, n square, n square out of this one becomes 4, 5 square, m square and this one becomes also r square is equal to e square out of 4, 5, epsilon dot r so in this case we see this m reduces with this and uh, 4 reduces with this, this m reduces with that our 4 reduces with that and our 5 reduces with this and here I will see that this R reduces with this power and then we shall have that N square H square uh, out of 5 M and then R is equal to E square out of here I will only have epsilon naught so my interest is to make R the subject. So you see that far A R E square is equal to N square, H square, epsilon naught. So to make R the subject, I divide by far M E square. I also divide here by far M E square. So my R alone, this implies that R itself will be equal to N square h square epsilon naught out of phi m e square this is my r so after obtaining this r we shall come and replace it to the expression of total energy now from e is equal to negative e square out of i have here uh, 8 8 5 epsilon naught r. So I am going to replace for r where it is. So I will have e is equal to negative e square out of 8 5 epsilon naught times the value of r. Higher is n square, uh huh, h square, 
epsilon naught out of this one is pi m e squared like that. So now e becomes uh, negative e squared times pi m e squared. This one goes up, and now we have eight pi epsilon naught times m squared x squared epsilon naught. So you see that this pi and this will cancel. This uh, epsilon naught and epsilon naught becomes a square. So this implies that the total energy E becomes negative M. E, the point out goes to 4. When you multiply that out of I will have this becomes 8 epsilon naught but squared. And then I will have N square. And then I will have N what? Square. This is the expression for the total energy on an electron. Where this M is actually mass of electron. M is mass of electron. E is actually electronic charge. Which is an equivalence of 1.6 actually times 10 raised to power 19. 19 coulombs and epsilon naught is actually permittivity of free space free space and finally n is the quantum number quantum number and h stands for the Planck's constant thank you very much